Five features of my own mind map and how I use it with Notion. If you are someone that is struggling to get your thoughts and ideas organized and structured, you might be like me, who needs to see things visually to understand ideas and concepts. One of the best ways to do this is by using mind map. For me, mind maps helps in the following areas. Overviewing. Mind maps give me a glimpse of a broad subject or area and helps me break it down to digestible chunks. Thought process. By having concepts and ideas broken down into smaller parts, I can see connections between ideas. Organizing. Mind maps also helps me to organize information and data, so it's more comfortable for me to track and develop more ideas. Mind map workflow. Regardless of what tool is available, I follow the same simple workflow. One. Create a central topic, which is the main theme I'm exploring. Two, complete an initial brain dump of ideas linked to the central topic. Three, use subtopics to group similar ideas together. Four, go through each subtopic and identify some more ideas. Five, use color and images to differentiate topics, subtopics, and ideas. What is Miro? Miro is an online collaborative whiteboarding platform. One of the features it has is mind mapping. There are many mind mapping software in the market, but the key differences for me are integration. According to the website, Miro mind maps can be linked to other software, including Dropbox, Google Suite, Jira, Zapier, and Trello. Real-time collaboration. Users can comment and change mind maps together, which makes it great for online brainstorming. Adding of non-text items. Miro allows users to add YouTube clips, images, and charts into the mind map. Miro provides three boards for free, but since each board is limitless, I can add as many mind maps to them as I want, so it meets my needs. I think it is worth a try to see if it's suitable for your workflow. If you are interested in techniques, tools, and hacks for improving your workflow and systems, please subscribe to get videos from me. Let's set up a mind map in Miro. Once you have logged in and created a board, you need to select the mind map icon from the three dots. Select anywhere in the canvas to create your mind map. Enter the name for your central topic. Use the tab key to create your first idea. To enter your initial brain dump of ideas, you can use the return key to create another idea. To group ideas into subtopics, create a subtopic just like an idea. Then you need to keep pressing down on the command key and drag the idea to link it to the subtopic. Once connected, let go of the command key and move the idea around to get to the right position. Once you finish grouping, you can move the subtopic to the other side and position it where you like. You can switch between curved connections to elbow connections. To neaten up the mind map, you can select on the Align Child Notes button. You can choose different colors for each subtopic. If you want to add an image, you can select the Google image search and add it in. Linking Miro to Notion. I currently use Notion as my goal tracking tool. I use the mind map to create ideas for new ways to improve the KPIs linked to a goal area. If you are interested in my Notion workflow, leave a comment below and I'll create a video for you. To link your Miro mind map, you first need to share the mind map. To do this, you need to select share on the mind map. Select can view from anyone with the link option. Select copy board link, switch to Notion, select embed Miro from the slash command option, copy in the link, click on the hand and it will show the mind map. Selecting the original button will link to the mind map on Miro website. To delete, click on the three buttons and choose delete. Please remember, in order to link boards, you need to make it public. So please do not share if you do not want to make these things public. 
Add YouTube videos via iframes. It is not only images that can be added, but you can also add YouTube videos and any other media that supports iframes. For YouTube, I use the share link. Once you have the link, you need to select the three dots in Miro, click the paste iframe code button, paste in the link and press embed. A video will appear on your mind map. Kanban board. Miro also lets you add a Kanban board, which I found useful to track ideas that have been progressed. To do this, select the three dot, click the Kanban button, place the Kanban on the board. If you need to use something more sophisticated, you can export the board as a CSV file and extract the lower level tasks and copy them into your Trello board. Templates. Miro has a lot of different templates for idea creation and brainstorming. The three other templates I'm looking at are Scamper, which uses targeted questions to solve problems and generate ideas, how, now, wow, which helps to examine ideas. Concept maps, which helps visualize ideas and then organize them into a hierarchical structure. By having these templates ready, Miro allows users to quickly use them iPad and iPhone support. I have started using the Myra app on my Apple devices such as iPad Pro and iPhone. Some of the main features are, the iPad app seems to have the same feature set as the web and desktop apps, making it easy to pick up and use. Apple Pencil support makes it easy to draw shapes and move objects around, but I still think you need a keyboard for your iPad to get the most out of your Myra app. Mind maps are an excellent technique for quickly exploring concepts and ideas. Myro is an excellent mind map app and its three board free package suits me fine and I continue to explore the app and use it with Zapier to connect to other apps. Integration with Notion has allowed me to have a more fluid workflow when setting goals and fill the mind map gap in Notion. If you are interested in techniques, tools and hacks to improve your workflow, please subscribe to my videos. Thank you for watching.